Hello, Jet Setters. I'm Jeb Brooks from greenergrass.com. I'm in the Arizona desert just north of Phoenix. First thing tomorrow morning, I need to make my way over to LA. Now, typically I'd fly with Delta or American, maybe Southwest, but this time I've found a different way to go. We're checking out a new to me airline, JSX. They fly unlike anybody else in the US, at least that I'm aware of. So let's check it out together. After a little more hiking, a quick meeting, and a short sleep, I was back on the road on my way to Hollywood, Burbank to be exact. Now, JSX does not operate from the main terminal at Sky Harbor or any of the other airports they serve for that matter. Instead, they use their own private terminals. So be sure to do your research ahead of time so you'll know exactly where to head. At each of these terminals, you'll find rental car services and valet parking. Check-in procedures, including security, are fast and straightforward. There are literally no lines. All rollerboard bags must be checked and are labeled with old school bag tags. Very cool. The waiting area is comfortable with plenty of seating and plugs. Coffee and snacks were available before our 7.30 flight and passengers are encouraged to check in as late as 20 minutes before they depart. The waiting area cleared out quickly as the flight before ours boarded up. I was traveling today with my brother and business partner. He's got a YouTube channel of his own, by the way, and if you're so inclined, I encourage you to check out Bavarian Enthusiast TV, where he shares his passion for vintage German cars. And be sure to stick around to the end to see the kinds of celebrities you might meet on JSX. The airline operates a fleet of 16 Embraer 135 and 145 aircraft. It has service to a handful of cities on the West Coast. Being on this side of the airport certainly has its advantages. As the sun rose, we faced a brief mechanical delay, which was resolved in no time. Boarding is quick and involves just a short walk across the ramp. The cabin is arranged in a 1-2 configuration with no overhead bins. Again, all rollerboard bags must be checked. In nearly every other commercial application, this airplane would be crammed with 50 seats. JSX, on the other hand, limits them to only 30 passengers, which means everyone has more space. We're good to go. We just need a couple minutes here to uh, load our computers and we'll be underway. About one hour flying time over to Burbank. Boarding 30 passengers takes no time at all and before we even knew it. The main cabin door is not closed. In preparation for takeoff, please ensure your personal belongings sit all the way underneath the seat in front of you. Your seat belts are securely fastened and that your tray tables and seat backs are in the upright position. Thank you, we'll be on our way shortly. Soon, we were airborne and Burbank bound. US plugs are available, which is great as long as you have the right adapter. Wi-Fi is also coming to the fleet this year. A drinks menu was present in each seat pocket. Both hard and soft drinks are available at no additional cost. The passenger service unit includes a light, an air vent, and a flight attendant call button, which I found useless because our single flight attendant seemed omnipresent. She took drink orders on the ground and delivered them to us shortly after takeoff. She also provided a basket of snacks to choose from. As the desert slipped below us, I was truly impressed by the comfort on this flight. Ordinarily, planes like this are cramped regional jets to be avoided. But the JSX configuration makes them feel like a private jet. It's a luxurious experience, and even though they don't have a frequent flyer program, if you have the opportunity to fly them, I hope you will. Talking prices when it comes to airlines is tricky because there are so many variables to be considered. Airline pricing is incredibly dynamic after all, and what you pay for a seat could be vastly different from the price paid by the person sitting next to you. However, based on my research, 
JSX prices seem about the same as, or even better than, fares on traditional airlines between the same two cities. In fact, I didn't have to look hard to find a JSX fare for this flight from Phoenix to Burbank for $109, compared to $93 from Southwest or $92 for American and their basic economy. Despite having less frequency on the route, I'd say JSX is by far the better deal. Their differentiated offering is one I'd like to see exist in more places around the country. If the waiting area in Phoenix was cool, the one in Burbank is unbelievable. It's in the hangar, which, thanks to California's beautiful January weather, was wide open. And it seemed like a pretty welcoming place to just about everybody. And I wish all flying was like this. Love JSX, can't wait to fly them again. Let's hope they get uh, some other service in other places uh, other than just the West Coast. This was killer. So now you know how I feel, but what about you? Leave a comment with your thoughts on JSX. If you didn't like the video, double click the thumbs down button. If you did, click the thumbs up button once. And as always, between now and the next time, see you in the sky.